Ja Welcome to Spain! What's up? How are we feeling after last weekend? Feeling good. Yes, I have a lot of family, uh, obviously, that lives um, around the circuit. And yes, my uh, grandparents, um, you know, are Spanish. So, uh, yeah, for me, it's almost yeah two weekends uh, home race, you know, very close. Um, so, yeah, it feels good to, to come here, uh, ready to attack the weekend. Uh, obviously, we're coming from a very good one. So, yeah, I can't wait to, uh, to attack this one. It's a track that uh, everybody did 100 laps, 1,000 laps in the same. I'm sure everyone knows the track, and uh, it's more about the details and how much confident you feel on the high-speed tracks. But, uh, yeah, personally, I do like more the high-speed tracks than the slow technical, a bit more like uh, Monaco tracks. So, yeah, for me, hopefully that uh, can play into the hands of my driving style, hopefully, and, uh, yeah, achieve uh, better results than, the, let's say, the previous race. Yeah, obviously we, we came here so much, you know, back in the day, um, winter testing, uh, sometimes still I remember from from before my F F1 full on uh, years uh, testing around here. So a fair few, um, although I've never done, you know, this uh, this new sector, um, two corners different, two quick right handers. So we'll explore them tomorrow, see what it's like. It was a good race, but also once I crossed the line, I was like, I'm happy the weekend is over. It's it's very hectic and uh, quite stressful. So I'm also looking forward to uh, yeah to this weekend. You know, it's a proper racetrack, and uh, this is where a Formula One car comes alive. I think there's a big variety from Saturday to Sunday performance. I think when you look on Saturday performance, we're certainly behind Ferrari and and Aston Martin. When you look, and, and sometimes you know um, the Alpine as well. When you look onto the Sunday performance, we're probably a little bit closer to Aston Martin. But this weekend will be a good test. We'd like to think we can um, jump ahead of Ferrari. I just want to keep on doing what I'm doing. But of course, I um, yeah need to have a good car for that. But I don't know how long that will last. But hopefully, of course, for a while. Um, yeah, I constantly want to try and improve myself every single year. Sometimes, of course, that works out a bit better than, than, than other races. But... Yeah, I think I've said it many times, you know, my goal was to win a championship. I did that. Now it's about, yeah, just also enjoy the moment, what you're in. Um, of course, I try to win as many races as I can, but I, I'm never, I've never really been someone who was trying to break records or whatever. It's also important to, yeah, have a good time and hopefully, you know, work with the people I'm working with for a very long time as well. It feels uh, great to be back home. Also, a circuit where in the past has treated me really well. It's, I think, my ninth year here, and I think it's, yeah, um, a lot of good memories, um, even from when I was a, a kid, you know, when I was 10 years old, and I came here for the first time to meet Fernando. I met Michael, I saw Ferrari for the first time, and to 18 years later be actually driving here um, as a Ferrari driver, you know, with the options of at least trying to get a podium or, or a win, it's, it's something really, really special that I, yeah, I try and think about it and, yeah, just feel good about it. Brains, brains and, and lap time, I guess, is the, the two big things. Um, 